Now, it's very rare to see a design that only contains one color in its color palette. Now, of course, there's predominant colors and subsidiary colors, but very often when you're designing anything, either for print or for digital, you're going to need to combine different colors. And there's different ways that you can go about doing this to make your designs convey different messages. So let's look at some of the ways in which we can use the science of color theory to combine different colors for your designs. So here we've got a color wheel. Um, most of you will have seen it from uh, most of you will have seen it from art classes, and it's essentially the rainbow wrapped around itself. And the color wheel is an incredibly useful tool, not just for artists, but also for designers. So let's look at one of the ways in which you would combine different colors. So for example, if I wanted to pick an orange color to have in my design, how would I combine it with a different color to complete my design? Well, one of the simplest color palettes is going for what's called an analogous color or an adjacent color. This is where when you take one color on the color wheel and combine it with the color that's immediately next to it or adjacent to it, and you get an analogous color palette. Now, analogous color palettes create designs that are incredibly harmonious and easy to look at. So this is something to think about when you're designing uh, app background screens or the main interface of your app, because unlike that color yellow that we stared at earlier on, it's not so demanding on your attention and it's pleasant to look at for a long time, which is what you're hoping for when you make an app because you want them to stay within the app as long as possible. So the opposite of analogous colors is when you take one color on the color wheel and match it with its with the color that's directly opposite to it. And this is called complementary colors. Now, complementary color palettes produce extremely clashy designs that stand out, that grab your attention, and can be good for logo design or uh, attention grabbing screenshots, but they don't make very good uh, color palettes for your main interface. You don't want to be staring at clashing colors all the time. So how can you tone down the clashiness of complementary colors? Well, you can take one color on the color wheel, for example, red, and instead of going for its direct opposite, in which case it would be green here, you can split that color into its analogous colors, namely a sort of limey yellow and a light blue. Now, by having a three color palette like this, you end up with designs that are still attention grabbing, but are less clashy and easier to look at. And I'm a huge fan of using split colors for app icon design um, because you're going to keep it very simple. It's going to be mostly shapes and colors and split colors allow that app icon to stand out in the app store without being incredibly clashy. Now, what if you want to take that concept even further? Well, you can pick one color on the color wheel and draw an equilateral triangle that links up two other colors. And what you end up creating is a triadic color palette. Now, triadic colors tend to be quite well balanced and yet still attention grabbing. But the unfortunate thing about triadic colors is that they were pretty much overused during the 90s in traditional print design and advertising design. So a lot of the color palettes look very 90s. And when you look at these two designs here, they look very much like fast food chains from the 90s. So it's a color palette that feels a little bit dated. Now, what's very modern at the moment and very in vogue is the idea of monochromatic colors. So taking the same color and combining it with either various amounts of white or various amounts of black to create different tones and shades that stand out from each other. Now, of course, you can mix in as much white or as much black as you like in order to provide as much contrast as you need. And these color palettes tend to be incredibly contemporary and work really well for modern digital design. 